वेलकम टू आर पी एस ग्रुप ऑफ स्कूल ऑनलाइन क्लासेस दिस इज सेशन फोर फॉर द चैप्टर मेटल्स एंड नॉन मेटल्स इन टूडे सेशन वी विल डिस्कस द केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मेटल्स एंड नॉन मेटल्स मोस्ट ऑफ द मेटल्स अंडर गो केमिकल रिएक्शन एक्सेप्ट द नोबल मेटल्स Noble metals are the non-reactive metals which do not exhibit chemical reactions. For example, gold, platinum, palladium, osmium. A chemical reaction can be defined as the reaction between two chemical substances under required conditions. Or we can also define a chemical reaction as a process in which one or more substances or the reactant are converted to one or more different substances called products under chemical properties we will be studying the reactions of metals and non metals with oxygen water dilute acids and bases reaction with oxygen metals react with oxygen and form metallic oxides let us discuss some examples of this reaction Rusting of iron is the result of reaction of iron which is a metal with oxygen containing moisture. The chemical equation for the reaction has been shown above. Burning of magnesium is also an example of a reaction between a metal and oxygen. When magnesium ribbon is burned over a flame, it reacts with oxygen and forms magnesium oxide. Silver metal acquires a greyish coating. This is due to the reaction of silver and oxygen which results in the formation of silver oxide. The chemical equation for the reaction has been shown above. All these metallic oxides are generally basic in nature. Let us perform an activity to verify this. The aim of the activity is to test the nature of iron rust. To perform the activity, you will require a rusted iron article, a test tube, water, blue and red litmus papers. In order to perform the experiment, scrape a little rust from the rusted iron article. Place it in a test tube, add a little water to it. Now shake it well. Test the solution of the rust in water with blue and red litmus papers. What do you observe? You will observe that the red litmus paper turns blue while blue litmus paper remains unchanged. So from this activity we can conclude that iron rust is basic in nature. Let us discuss the reaction of non metals with oxygen. Non metals react with oxygen and form non metallic oxides. Sulfur dioxide, nitrogen dioxide, nitrous oxide, carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide are some examples of non metallic oxides. Non metallic oxides are generally acidic in nature. This is because when a non metal reacts with oxygen it gives an oxide which on dissolution with water gives an acid This can be tested or verified by performing a litmus test Reaction with water Metals react with water to form metal oxides or hydroxides along with the release of hydrogen gas Reaction of sodium with water is an example of a reaction between a metal and water. Sodium reacts vigorously with water and forms a clear solution of sodium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. The evolution of hydrogen gas can be tested by bringing a burning matchstick near the beaker. If the gas burns with a pop sound, then the gas is hydrogen. Another example of a reaction between a metal and water is the reaction between magnesium and water. Magnesium reacts very slowly with cold water or water at room temperature, but 
It reacts vigorously with hot water and forms magnesium oxide along with the evolution of hydrogen gas. On the other hand, non-metals generally do not react with water. Let us perform an activity to verify this. The aim of the activity is to show the reaction of non-metals with water. To perform the activity, you will require sulfur powder, a test tube and water. Put a small quantity of sulfur powder in a test tube. Add a little amount of water to it. Now shake it well. Do you see any change occurring? What do you observe? You will observe that there is no change in the test tube. So, we can conclude that sulphur, which is a non-metal, does not react with water. This activity proves that non-metals do not react with water. Reaction with dilute acids Metals react with dilute acids to form metallic salts and hydrogen. The reaction between sodium and dilute hydrochloric acid is an example of a reaction between a metal and a dilute acid. Sodium reacts with dilute hydrochloric acid and forms sodium chloride along with the release of hydrogen gas. Let us perform an activity to study the reaction of a metal with dilute acid. The aim of the activity is to study the reaction of zinc with the dilute hydrochloric acid. To perform the activity, you will require a test tube dilute hydrochloric acid, zinc granules and a matchbox. Take 5 ml of dilute hydrochloric acid in a test tube. Gently place a zinc granule in it. What do you observe? You will observe some bubbles are formed. When a burning matchstick is brought near the mouth of the test tube, a pop sound is heard. We can conclude that zinc reacts with dilute hydrochloric acid to form zinc chloride and hydrogen gas. The chemical equation for the reaction is as follows. On the other hand, nonmetals generally do not react with dilute acids. To verify this, let us perform an activity. The aim of the activity is to study the reaction of sulphur with dilute hydrochloric acid. In order to perform the activity, you will require sulphur powder, a test tube, dilute hydrochloric acid, a dropper and a matchstick. Take a little amount of sulphur powder in a test tube. Add dilute hydrochloric acid to the test tube with the help of a dropper. What do you observe? You will observe that there are no bubbles evolved in this case. Also, no pop sound is heard on bringing a burning mastic near the mouth of the test tube. Also, there is no reaction even on heating the test tube. So we can conclude that sulphur, which is a non-metal, does not react with dilute hydrochloric acid. Reaction with bases Some metals react with bases to form salt and hydrogen gas. Zinc reacts with sodium hydroxide solution to form sodium zincate and releases hydrogen gas. The chemical equation for the reaction is as follows. The evolution of hydrogen gas can be confirmed by bringing a burning mastic near the mouth of the test tube in which the reaction has occurred. If the mastic burns with a pop sound, it confirms the release of hydrogen gas. On the other hand, reaction of nonmetals with bases are quite complex and does not result in the formation of hydrogen gas. That was all for today's class. Thank you.